All right, so I wanted you to be able to see my me taking some measurements. So again, I'm supposed to be taking my pencil and I'm supposed to be holding the pencil straight up and down. Don't tip it this way, don't tip it that way. It's supposed to be straight up and down. Then if I, again, if I take my thumb and I, and I slide it along there, I can find the length. And then I can start to check, let's see, what's the, the height of the cube, but it's wider than it is tall. And I could guesstimate that by how much. Let's see, it looks like it's maybe less than a fourth. And again, if I took the, the height of the cube, it's about there. Whoops, no, that's a little bit above it. It's kind of out of focus, so it's hard to see a little bit, isn't it? But again, we see that it's the apple's a little bit taller. We could then say, what's the width of that bottle? And it's like one, and again, three quarters. How many tall is it? And it's, you know, that, how many increments or how many cube heights tall is it? And it's, let's see, it's one, two, three, you know, so it's about three and a third and stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and focus more on the still life again for a second. Same sort of thing, but hopefully that will clarify anything. All right, so again, this is proportional measuring. So when we're proportional measuring, we're using one increment, like the cube height. And, you know, it's sometimes it's easier with uh, something that's got a really nice point on it. If it doesn't have a real nice point on it, sometimes it's, it's, it's nicer with something that's nice and flat. So, but you can use a brush, you can use, uh, again, a, a pencil, you can use whatever. But again, we can see the height is, it's wider than it is tall by less than a quarter. We could also say how wide is the, is the, wise, is the ice wine bottle. And it's like two thirds the height of the cube uh how how wide is the the uh the pair is just wider by less than a quarter maybe an eighth one and an eighth and then it's one and maybe let's see where does that go that goes up to about a highlight right there and i raise my thumb to the highlight it's about one and a third so you're going to take that increment a measure and you're gonna go ahead and measure everything else against it now if we're measuring something just by itself like let's say we're again we're doing the the bottle we could say well what's the width of the bottle and I could measure the sort of try to figure out the bottle width at its widest part you know and then we could come up the bottle start at the bottom with my thumb Okay, so that one looked like it was about two. Now I've measured that bottle a lot. I know it's more like two and a third, uh, or you know, somewhere between two and a third and two and a half. But that's the idea is that still, that's gonna put us in the ballpark, as people would say. The biggest problem is that people aren't in the ballpark at all. They're way off base. Now someone might say, what if I was doing that, that ice wine bottle? I can't see the foot. Well, I know the, the ice wine bottle is just behind the, uh, the other bottle. So I can put my thumb just above that point of the other bottle and go, let's see, there's one. And then two, I'm going up the apple, and then three, now it's finally above the apple. And I can just keep going up, and I'm going to find out again that's about a one to six. So that's proportional measuring, and you're using, again, you're using the pencil, and you're really just, you know, sliding your thumb up and down. Hold on, we're going to go ahead and, and focus more on the pencil. Give me a moment. So again, with this, whenever we're measuring, we're, we're moving our thumb, and we're using the tip and our thumb to, to then take the measurement of, of any object. So that's how we're gonna use the sight measure method. Remember to hold your pencil at the same place every time. So you're gonna hold in your fingers the same way, lock your wrist, lock your elbow, lock your shoulder. And again, that's sight measuring, or pardon me, proportional measuring. And so we're gonna use it. It's really a, a great tool uh, for drawing and painting. Again, you can use a, a paintbrush to do measuring as well, and it's, it's really going to help you get better proportions. Be more creative. You guys take care. This has been Kevin McCain with Idaho Art Classes and Kevin McCain Studios. Have a good one.